my name is Clara, and I'm going to draw my life. So, it all really began when I was born in hospital, like six days late or so. I was supposed to be born on, like, September 28th. Anyway, so I was born with a birthmark on my forehead, and later on, I became very self-conscious about it. Um, and, yeah, we're in San Francisco, as you can see from the Golden Gate Bridge. Really pretty, yeah. And <laughs> my family consists of my dad, got an afro, my mom, and me, and my brother who came later on in life, but he doesn't really matter at this point. Um, <laughs> so my mom couldn't find a job in California, so we moved to Las Vegas where my grandparents decided, and like I lived with uh, them and my aunt and uncle until my house was built, like two years later. And I was like, really excited because if I, I didn't like go there, then I wouldn't have met all these great people in my life. So yeah, I lived with the Lee family, which consists of my grandma, my grandpa, my uncle, my aunt, and my cousin Bonnie and Eric. That was really competitive. And everything was really fine and dandy. Like I was really happy with it. Then my grandparents spoiled me to no end and like I always like keep some little cousins and everything and made sure that my cousin Eric liked me better than Bonnie. <laughs> and it was uh, it was like one of the happiest times of my life, really. And I lived with them up until I was like, what, 10 years old or 12? Anyway, so yeah, I was a really happy kid, you know, always smiling, always doing things, being really stupid. One time even role played that I was pregnant at like four, don't know why. Anyways, I made sure that Bonnie was a peasant. <laughs> and everything, yeah, it was all great until like I started school, which I found that was really hard because for some odd reason I didn't really make a lot of friends. I was always a weird kid. I was always being called odd or like weird looking. I was just weird. Don't know why people didn't like me, but whatever. I was really nice. And so because like I was always alone, I always like just drew a lot. I don't know why, but I've been drawing since I was really, really small. Like I would draw all these like six figures and everything that wouldn't even like look realistic and I never thought that I could actually like become an artist out of it and like I would like draw to the point where I would draw like along the margins of the paper and my pieces of anatomy and everything and everything was great I think well no, no actually it wasn't really great it wasn't great until I met like my first boyfriend supposedly in like third grade and like we were like always hung out and everything and stuff but <laughs> Eventually, he just kind of ignored me after some uh, went by and like things changed, but I can't really say that I actually stayed at night school because I was nine. But I was left alone once again, so I just focused more and more on drawing because like that was all I could do because I didn't really have anyone else to talk to. And so three years later, middle school hits and I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to be popular. I am going to like not be that weird girl. I'm going to be the cool girl. Which was the biggest mistake of my life because, like, well, I did a lot of bad things. Well, not, it was, yeah, I did a lot of bad things. And in the process of it, I met my best friend, my super, super best friend, who was really, 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 really tall. I mean, Layla, she even had this long hair and everything to match her longness. And we became best friends and everything. Everything was great until, like, I started ignoring her and being, like, mean later on. But before that, everything is really cool. Like she was this odd person I never thought that I would become actually best friends with because like I said I was mean. I hung out with like all these like people who were mean to her and then she's just like sitting there like what the hell is going on with you? And like why are you trying to be so popular? And I'm just like ah oh, you know whatever. I'm just gonna be here with my cool friends. But eventually she exploded in front of me. See? Explosion. <laughs> because she was basically saying that I was being the person I am. And then I, I finally like got my head out of my ass and I was like, oh, okay, I should probably be more nicer to you. And <laughs> so we became best friends ever since, it's been like eight years. Anyway, so high school hits and I like start studying more and more and more because like I realized I wanted to become a doctor. And so like I've been studying for ACTs, SATs, and then, like I threw myself into all these like rigorous courses and I was also in like a mag school and everything and I did clubs. And it was really stressful, but honestly, it was one of the best times of my life because, like, I got the hang of it. I got the hang of it, and everything was great. But eventually, by the time of senior, I was really tired, so I was just like glad to graduate. I was just like, ah ha ha, <laughs> no more high school, f you, have my degree and everything. And unfortunately, even though I studied really hard, I didn't really get into any like great Ivy League school or anything. But that was okay because, like, I 
went to UNLV and it didn't turn out as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, and then like during summer I uh, had my first real relationship, everything was all happy being great because like I was always like this like like really big romantic, like I was a hopeless romantic. I always like believed in like true love and finding the one. But I didn't believe in like unrealistic things like love at first sight. But I believed in like being cheated as a princess and you know like having my prince charming and everything always there, you know, in his stud outfit and um, with his king hat and on a horse. I really like guys on a horse for some reason. So that he could just sweep me away and be like on a horse. But eventually we broke up and I was really sad because that was my first real relationship. So that was also my first real heartbreak. And like I was really, really depressed for a long time. But eventually, like all things, we just get over it. And I was happy again. I moved on, I focused more on school, I started volunteering and doing things that would help me because I had like other things planned in life. I wanted to become a surgeon. I wanted to become this like successful, awesome person that I've always wanted to become. And so my dream is to, you know, be able to wear a scrub cap and everything and be this doctor, become Dr. Clara Lou or whatever else my last name might be. And not really care if people see my birthmark because I've always been so insecure about it. And that I would just like be really good at my job and then I would also like meet like the love of my life hopefully but if not it's okay I guess <laughs> and then he would be on a horse again <laughs> because I've always imagined my prince charming's on a horse a really stupid stupid looking horse but even if I don't meet the love of my life I don't really care as long as I be I'm happy with who I become and like what I do and if I make a difference in this world although it would be really nice too and off in the sunset. And yeah, that's my life. So far. <laughs>